Well, tonight, Central Florida remembers a veteran, test pilot, and pioneer astronaut. The U.S. Parachute Association says Colonel Joe Kittinger died. He was 94 years old. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is at Colonel Joe Kittinger Park in Orlando with the tributes. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer describes Colonel Joe Kittinger as an American hero, while U.S. Senator Rick Scott says this nation lost a legend today. Now, if you've driven down the 408 Expressway in downtown Orlando, you've probably seen that aircraft back there, an F-4 Phantom II. Colonel Kittinger flew that very plane during the Vietnam War and was shot down in a similar one. Yet it was another flight about 12 years earlier that put Kittinger in the history books. August 16, 1960, a large helium balloon rises more than 20 miles above the surface of the Earth. Riding in a capsule attached to that balloon, Orlando native Joe Kittinger. This was the first time it was ever done. Uh, it was in preparation for the space age. The mission was called Project Excelsior. Kittinger, who became the first person to witness the curvature of the Earth, was testing an escape system that would later be used by astronauts and other aviators while also demonstrating how high altitude affected the human body. Without any hesitation, I reached down, hit a button to start the cameras, said a prayer, and jumped. With a small parachute trailing behind him, Kittinger plunged back to Earth at more than 600 miles per hour. His free fall lasted 4 minutes and 36 seconds, a record-breaking skydive that would stand for 52 years, until Kittinger helped his protege, Felix Baumgartner, surpass that achievement in 2012. Following his historic jump, Kinniger went on to serve three tours of duty in Vietnam, flying nearly 500 combat missions. In May 1972, Kittinger was shot down over North Vietnam and spent 11 months as a prisoner of war in the infamous Hanoi Hilton. When he returned to Central Florida, Kittinger remained a fixture in the aviation community, working for Martin Marietta and later Rosie O'Grady's Flying Circus. Kittinger was here when one of the F-4 Phantom II aircraft he piloted was dedicated in the Orlando Park bearing his name. This is a, a, a wonderful opportunity for me to help our community say thank you to the Vietnam veterans. Uh, I, they didn't get a very good reception when they came home. Uh, I hope that this will make up for it. In 1984, after he stopped flying planes like that one, Kittinger climbed into a helium balloon and flew across the Atlantic by himself, something that had never been done before and breaking even more records. Colonel Joe Kittinger was 94 years old. Reporting in downtown Orlando, Mike DeForest, News 6.